All right, gentlemen, welcome to section eight, which is entitled The Octet Rule and Chemical Bonds or Bonding. This section, we're going to be talking about chemical bonding. There are two types of bonding that we'll study in this class. The first type is one that we introduced today, ionic bonding. The second type will be covalent bonding, and that's in our next video. So check it out. So <clears throat> the chemical bonding is based on or follows this rule, the octet rule, which went over in class, which states that atoms are more stable when they have configurations that resemble that of a noble gas. So having eight valence electrons in their outermost energy level. When an atom reaches the state, we oftentimes say that it has achieved an octet. That's a phrase you'll hear me throwing around, so be familiar with that. Now, what ionic bonding is, it's a transfer. The key word is transfer. And you'll see why when we talk about covalent bonds. So it's a transfer of electrons between a metal and a non-metal. It only happens between metals and non-metals. So that's a key for you, key factor. Metals are the electron donors. They give the electrons away because they have a very low ionization energy. It does not take much energy to take those electrons away. They don't really want them because it will take, it will require a lot more energy for them to gain more valence electrons than losing the ones that they have. Conversely, non-metals are electron receptors. They will receive electrons from metals. Or, more blatantly, they will actually be the takers of electrons. They are what we call electronegative, or they have very high ionization energy, so they hold on to their electrons very tightly, and they don't want to give theirs up, so they end up taking other people's electrons, or other atoms' electrons. People don't have them. Alrighty, so let's do an example. In class, we had a few examples, but here's another example between lithium and oxygen. So lithium, as an electrically neutral atom, has an atomic number of three from the periodic table, which means it has three protons and three electrons as an electrically neutral atom, not an ion yet. Oxygen has an atomic number of eight, meaning it has eight protons and eight electrons. It is electrically neutral at first. In order to bond ionically, there has to be a transfer of electrons. My metal will transfer its valence electrons to the nonmetal, and the nonmetal will receive them, donor and a receptor. Lithium has one valence electron. So Li, with this little dot, here's my electron dot structure for lithium. Oxygen has six valence electrons, because it's in group 6A. So if I draw those, one, two, three, four, five, six, that is for oxygen. Now, <clears throat> lithium has one valence electron, so it's going to give one valence electron. It's going to donate that to the oxygen. When it does so, lithium here loses an electron. So it went from three electrons to two electrons. In doing so, it becomes Li plus, lithium one plus, because I have one more positive proton than I do negative electrons. It's three to two. The threes win. By how much? By one. The difference between three and two is one. So lithium becomes Li one plus. We just, the one is understood to be there. Now, let's look at oxygen. Oxygen just gained one electron. In order to achieve an octet, oxygen must reach eight valence electrons. Thus far, it started with its six valence, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it gained one from that lithium atom. It's at seven. It's not quite at the level of a noble gas yet. It, is not, it has not achieved an octet. So what it will do is it will take another lithium atom. We have to keep in mind that atoms never act alone. You're never going to see a single lithium atom in a single oxygen atom reacting. Where there's one, there are many. So another lithium atom would come along very much like this one, with one valence electron, and it would also donate an electron, fulfilling the octet or achieving the octet of this oxygen atom. So oxygen has gained two electrons, so it went from eight to ten electrons, and now ten to eight, ten overpowers eight, so I have two more negative electrons, and I do protons, 
Therefore, my oxygen becomes charged by 2. And you represent that as O2 minus. So I have lithium plus an O2 minus. Now, since this lithium, ion, since lithium atom also gave its electron, we can say that one became the same as this. Li1 plus. So when I'm explaining this, or when I'm trying to figure out what chemical formula they make, or what ratio do they react in, you can say there are two lithium ions, or two lithium atoms, for every one oxygen in order for it to achieve its octet. So how I write that is Li2, meaning two lithium atoms, for my every one oxygen. This would be known as the chemical formula. There's also a way to name this. When I name this, I name my first metal cation as it's just its general name. It's lithium. So I keep it with its name. Lithium. And then here, it's oxygen. I take off the ending and I add IDE because it's a negative anion. That's kind of redundant, but it's a negative ion, which is the anion. Anions always get the ending or suffix of IED. So it's oxide. Lithium oxide. The arrows here, it's called a bonding mechanism. With this bonding me mechanism, we can predict what the formula is and what the compound is. This is the longer way. Understand this and you are fantastic. Now there is a shortcut. The shortcut is called the crossover method. We went over that in class. The crossover method can be done very simply and easily. First thing you have to know is what am I dealing with? I have lithium here with one valence electron, oxygen with six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Since lithium is a metal, I know it's going to donate electrons. When it donates this one electron off, it's going to become lithium one plus. When this oxygen, being a non-metal, is going to gain two electrons. When it gains two electrons, it's going to become O2 minus. Get that in your head. You lose one, one plus. You gain two, two minus. Now the crossover method says if I take my, I guess my invisible number here, one and that two, and I cross that one down to the oxygen here, and that two down to the lithium. I don't bring the charges with them. I don't bring the plus and the minus, just the numbers. I get that Li gets a two here, and this oxygen it's the one. In chemistry, we don't write the one. It's understood to be one because there's only one atom here. And this formula matches the formula we just did on the other board. This is a very simple way to do that, and we can name it in the same way. It is lithium oxide. So quickly, that is ionic bonding. Stay tuned for covalent bonding. Peace.